All right, hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel for some more Samurai Warriors for Empire. So what we're happening right now is just after, I guess, a little struggle um, of me just carrying out my usual boring stuff that I decided to not show screen time of, we are ready to actually, well, at least I hope, I feel like I'm ready to take on um, Tokugawa Ieyasu in his butt butt butt. Is this gonna turn out well? Uh, only completing a battle could we find out, so that's that. Um, basically, we have requested the support from the Uesugi family, which I thought they kind of died out in the previous battles, but then again, they could have joined the Date forces like they did in the 4 and the 4 2 cannon, and. Hot damn! We are not in a very good condition, and. Let you guys see me panic. With my current, I guess, throat conditions. Uh, let's hope I don't have voice cracks and etc. going on. Because that would be very, I guess, embarrassing. So without further ado, let's get ready to get our ass completely whoopity doped. Because why not? Nothing is better like a Saturday night YouTube session watching, I guess, your future favorite Mamoru YouTuber just kids. eat shit in general. So... Well, I guess it's not completely decided that I'm going to eat shit, so... Uh, first off, I'm going to get myself very well prepared for a full-on assault, because, like you've noticed, I'm not really uh, having a good condition on a time also, so... That's the thing. Um, hopefully that's not going to result in me um, completely losing the battle, because that would be a bummer. But, all in all, I think... Well, at least I hope it's gonna be fine, cause... 10 fucking minutes though. Is this gonna happen? Is this gonna happen? Oh fudge, I think I have the dexterity buff and they have the defense buff, so... We are not doing too good. And I guess we have to start improving the friendship of these two unlikely couple. Well, not couple, but... Oh yes, we, w we should stick together as well. Yeah, so instead of taking on fucking Ieyasu, I forgot that I chose to take on the very powerful fucking um, Shimazu family because I was like, before I pressed the record button just now, I was like, my hope is to take on Ieyasu, Ieyasu, and I completely forgot that I only have enough resources to take on the not Ieyasu, so fuck me. We're doing Shimazu right now, so. Well, but still, I'm bringing you a battle, so. Don't be too picky. Uh, forgive me for being an idiot like I usually am. So, yeah. Oh, I miss you so. Was that his mouth just now? Because somebody freeze frame and tell me that we saw his mouth. But, you know what. Uh, one of my, uh, I guess my newfound friend viewer, um, uh, is that Chewy Cookie? I think that was his or her um, internet name. Told me that, uh, like, uh, corrected me or actually reminded me that uh, his condition was leprosy but then uh, recently after I've, I've been in Tokyo last month I've been like I'm such a nerd bum bookworm uh, one day it was like raining shit after my soaking wet experience in uh, Tokyo Disney by the way uh, it's complete bullshit because it's not Tokyo Disney okay that shit my my hama is fucking in Chiba but you know like Tokyo Urs I'm not saying that they're badass like they're assholes, but I'm just saying that a lot of things, when you wanted to advertise it or make it something that's, a, a, I guess, an international attraction, everything just becomes to Tokyo something. Because Narita is not Tokyo Narita Airport. Narita is fucking Chiba also, so... But then it would sound really fucked up because... Uh, in, before Haneda was even built, uh, it was like, hey, I'm going to Tokyo, but you're landing in Chiba, right? It sounds really weird. So it's called Tokyo International Airport before Haneda HND was actually built. Uh, what was I trying to say? Our recent studies, um, I guess, of the dugout like remains and a lot of those, um, I guess, false, not really fossilized stuff, but like those ancient books and scrolls about the Sengoku War States period actually suggested that um, another reason to his really just messed up appearance that people have recorded him as was not due to leprosy but instead of due to I guess the one condition that uh, we idiots usually call them as vampirism 
It's not technically he has superpowers and morph into bats or some kind of like random bullshit. But um, it's just that his skin pigments were not meant to like be exposed to UV rays. But uh, and he seems to lack um, iron like a lot compared to other people. And uh, his skin just burns instantly if he's under the sun. But then you know as even if you're a strategist or a, I guess, soldier, your battles usually would not take place at night unless you're doing assaults and shit, right? So, um, even if you're under armor and shit, your face sometimes ex ex is exposed. Uh, sometimes they're doing light armor, you might have your parts of your leg and arms exposed. And, judging from vampirism, uh, I, I, I forgot the total medical term that I read off the internet when I was in Japan, but... You know who you are, you know what you are, um, like that condition actually probably would result in his very scarred and melted looking face. But then again, they're all like long dead, regardless of which condition he was in, he just looks hideous when he was alive. And I know it sounds mean, but that's just historical, I guess, um, image of old Dan Yoshitsugu. So, so far, um, cannot be too, I guess confident, overly confident about my condition, but I guess maybe it was just because I, I had I had my whole squad well planned out, like what I'm doing right now. That's why it's it's not like I'm struggling too much, even though I, I have I, I'm pretty sure not enough resources to take them on because um like I've I like I've illustrated in the very last part of my previous video, Shimazu is rising and they are doing great. That's, that's all I have to say for now, but I do hope um, what I'm doing right now, like, uh, the stable progression of me and my crew, my gang, taking over these um, uh, outposts one by one could actually help out with the whole situation. If it couldn't, well, I don't know, but yeah. Oh, you're so confident that you can take me out because... You're strong, eh? Well, I, I think you're too overly confident that um, the more enemies you have, the, uh, I guess, the more worthy of you working hard to take people. Hey, that's uh, Muneshige's daddy. I think it was like Takahashi Jolin, Jolin? I forgot. But he's one of those people which I had the name remember, so. Hi, daddy -o. Oh fuck, camera angles. I swear to god, one day camera angle is gonna be the death of me in fucking empires. It wouldn't be... Like, I guess... That... I guess hardcore if you're just playing the normal games because... You're not really on a serious, like... Time run, like, oh my god, I have to go... Like, in five minutes I have to beat whatever, which is the exact same situation I'm in right now, but... In empires, when you're actually really just worried about like being not fast enough and shit and thing just goes mess up so yeah. Ooh. that sounds awesome all right so um i think i assume i probably could um without much difficulty take out this battle with a victory Hey, Kagenkatsu! Long time, good no see. All right, so let's. I don't. Maybe we should do a, I guess, battle together, and then maybe raise our fudging, I guess, love, love, love power. I have no idea how to get married because we've just became friend zone in the last episode. So, how is it gonna still work out? Uh, I don't know, because first of all, I didn't buy the guidebook like I usually do. Uh, even if I buy guidebooks, I usually don't read them because when you're doing YouTube videos, um, when I'm doing my cell of YouTubing is that uh, when I get off time from work, I'll YouTube. And I don't know how does that sound like to you. It might sound really weird, but yeah, that's how I work things out. And hello, hottie pop. Come on, you son of a bitch. I don't even care, man. Damn, Mr. Tongos. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Ooh, that, that's snowy. Come on, bit. Oh, God. No, oh, that's not gonna... That's not gonna turn out to be good for me, is it? Well, then. 
I guess one thing I never remember about my sexy boy is that he is very not enough defensive, so. So, I don't know if I'm going to be a good one. Alright, alright, alright. Where are you at, son of a bitch? Oh, yes. We are going to score a win, and it's just like a piece of cake like you, bitch. Oh, that, that's some beautiful twists and turns over there, Mr. Sexy Boy. So, um, I was really, I guess, doubtful in the beginning of this battle, but our not parental bond but our um husband and wife to be marriage bond has obviously brought us through so uh congratulations uh, on that i don't even know what kind of accent i was uh, trying to go for but hey all right so we actually took over and not bad we actually got more Fuda resources, so... Oh, no wonder I was fighting against fucking... Oh, I am gonna hire you. No wonder I was fighting against the Shimazu because I was doing a defensive battle. Jesus, man. Playing games in midnight, definitely no good. That, that's not really good for YouTubing, but then again, I don't have much other time, so... Sorry for being a dumb-dumb to you guys, but hey. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'm gonna save this game because that's what I do. And I'll see you guys probably... Most probably, definitely, in the next episode. So, peace out.